Uh, keep your eye on uh, number six, Putu Tao, tonight on both sides of the ball. He won't come off the field very much. He's a great offensive threat, but I think he's just as dangerous on the defensive side of the ball and his coverage skills. Looks cross going up top first, and there's a man running free, but it overthrows. Farns overthrows Barton. Sean Barton, a heck of an athlete, and a guy they expect a lot of big things from here at Woods Cross, second down. Talon Niederhauser on the coverage there, a junior, 180 pound, six foot two junior. A lot of time there for Farns to look downfield. You talked about Putu Tao a moment ago. Yes. I talked about how there's a Mount Crest has some kids that aren't feeling well. Putu Tao is who I was talking about. He was actually down there. He's not keeping lunch down <laughs> on the field during warm-ups. That's fun to run through when you're on the offensive line. Well, it, it's going around. Something's going around. That's he was sick sure. last week, actually, against Lone Peak. He had a fever all week long and played the game with a fever. Give to the first man through and a pickup of three. It'll be third down and seven for the Wildcats. <laughs> so third and six coming up for the Wildcats. Barton, the ball carrier on the first carry. Farns in the gun. Two receivers, one stays in, the other swings out right at the sticks. The catch is made. And picking up the first down is Sifakis. That's a big first down deep in your own territory. Even if you don't pick up another first down, that helps you with field position on, on the next defensive outing. That's a great pass. It's not two-hand touch, son. you got to knock him down. Talon Niederhaus are defending there, and he kind of slipped down. Yep. There's a good look at Skyler Farns. They're gonna move the pocket, some pressure coming. Farns gets rid of it, a little high, and it'll be second and 10. As Farns starts the game, one for three. You know, you look at that Mount Crest defensive line and you look at number 32 down there. I don't know if we can, our camera guys can, our camera guys can get a shot at number 32, Tyler Hansen, 5'9", 165 pounds on that defensive line for Mountain Crest. Seems like every year they got one guy that's just undersized and a high motor kid. And this year it's 32, Tyler Hansen. Barnes is gonna keep it. Got a little bit of room off the left side. It'll be third and short as he picks up about seven. Really impressed so far with Woods Cross. Uh, Woods Cross's, I guess I don't know how you say that. Uh, offensive execution. Got a man down for Woods Cross as we speak. There he is. There's who we were talking about a moment ago. Tyler Hansen. 5'9", 165, you know, average size kid. And he looks awful little in there next to guys like, uh, <laughs> next to guys like Wells and Zach Bitters. And some of those other, some of those other fellas. Number 59, Zach Bitters, 6'1", 295. Mount Crest pleased that they've got a little bit of size this year. Well, a I little bit bigger than they have been in years past. I think not only did they get some size this year and the kids put on a little uh, good weight out in the offseason, but I think they're just as athletic. See, they're wearing those uh, pink spats. We'll get a, We'll see if we can get a good close look at those before, uh, after, after this play. After this play, well, there's a look right there. There's some of the spats that are on uh, Joseph Carlson. We'll talk about it in just a second after this play. Third down and three. Well, there's a give. They're trying to go for it on the ground. They're not going to get it. About a yard for Woods Cross. And that's it as they gave it to Alton Brown. And so it'll be fourth down in case of those pink spats. They've wrapped those up all in tape. Tanner Richardson's mother has been, been ill for quite a while. And um, the team's done that as kind of a show of unity. Thinking about Tanner's mom. 
pretty impressive. I've heard a lot of good things about this group of kids from coaches and, and people around the program just saying, hey, there's some pretty good kids playing here. Fourth down and a yard. They've spread that defense out, and Farnes is going to keep it. And it's all going to depend on spot. And from where they look like they're spotting it, it's going to be short. That looks short. They're spotting it short of the 30. They needed to get to the 30, and they're spotting it a yard short of the 30. Yeah, well, the center went to snap the ball, and he kind of leaned at the same time. And the center, of course, can't be. You don't get a motion call in the center because he's the guy who he's always the, right. He's always right, no matter what happens. But he really wasn't in sync. He was kind of leaning as he was snapping it. It looked like Farn actually had a hard time getting a hold of that ball. So Woods cross. Trying to make a statement right from the start, and it's the Mountain Crest defense that ends up coming up big. Eddie Hall, number one. They'll roll the pocket. He's looking at four receivers. He's got the edge, picks up a nice blow. He's down inside the 15 and rolled out of bounds. Got enough yardage for the first down. 12 yards for Hall. Well, that, that's a nice pickup, and you can see this here. some good blocking that comes back against the onslaught of defenders that are chasing him down. Look at block. That's a great block. He actually screens out one man and blocks another and springs Eddie Hall for another six yards after that. So now they flip the formation. Three receivers to the wide side of the field. Hall will give. First man through is Richardson. Richardson still standing and finally knocked down inside the 15 as they spotted the Hall run down to about the 18. Richardson down to the 14, four yards on first down. Tanner's a good hard-nosed runner. He actually doesn't get that many carries. He'll get single-digit carries in a game. I was talking to some other guys who've been watching the last two games and get four or five carries a game, but when he does, he's, he's a good punishing runner. Second and six. They keep Hall. I don't know if he even got back to the line of scrimmage. That was a jailbreak up front. Loss of a yard for Eddie Hall. Used to this Mount Crest offense throwing the ball around a lot. Eddie Hall might be more of a running type of quarterback. Well, they do a lot of the same things they did with uh, Caressa before in, because they're Neither one of them are very tall kids. They roll them a lot and try and nullify the height disadvantage they have. It's real hard to pass over offense and defensive line. You've got a bunch of six foot four kids. Third and seven for the Mustangs. Nice pocket, Hall's in trouble. He's got running room if he can get the edge. He can't, unloads back across the middle, and it's incomplete. Ooh, that's a dangerous pass. <laughs> Not only is it very difficult to pass to make, throwing back across your body, running full speed the opposite direction, but he's throwing it into traffic. Look at the defenders who are right here to cover this. And real, I think that was Pututau was the intended receiver. He almost turns into a defender there. Junior Vilolo took a great angle and shut off what would have been a nice running lane. Vilolo showing some speed. Call from dead center, about 32 yards out. Plenty of leg. And he's got the aiming juice in his veins, too. 3-0, Mountain Crest leads with 7 to play in the third. First. reasons I really enjoy banking at Lewiston State Bank is because I enjoy the friendly service. They know me by name, they know who I am, and they know what my business is, and that is very important to me. I've been banking at Lewiston State Bank for about nine years, and we love it. They know who I am. We are proud to have been serving our customers for over 100 years with personalized, friendly service. Please come in and meet your new friends at Lewiston State Bank.
Call kicks off. It'll be fielded by Castillo at the two. Wells the first man there, and down goes Castillo. Oh, my goodness. Ryan Lund, number 50 there as well. Watch the end of this run. Oh. <laughs> I think you broke his freaking neck. <laughs> That's a terrible football movie quote. I should not do that. That's a big old paw sticking out there knocking that kid down. I think if you'd have got him with a shoulder pad, he's probably really lucky. Give to Brown. Brown picks up a yard. Alton Brown, number 34. defense started to get a little more fired up, slapping each other in the helmet, flying around a little bit more. Somebody's helmet rolling around out there after that play. Hope there's not a hit in it. <laughs> Pass is incomplete. It'll bring up third down. Bountiful visiting Logan tonight. Skyview taking on Olympus. At home as well. I think I passed every one of those buses in the canyon today. <laughs> well, the traffic in Logan was indicative of a lot of home football games. Was it indicative? It was indicative. Third and long. Is and crappy. Woods Cross will spread it out. Farms no has chance. a step. A man with a step, and it's incomplete. Niederhauser. On the coverage, Sifakis wants a flag. He's not going to get it. You know, you can pretty much do whatever you want to receivers in high school as long as when the ball's in the air, it's it's hands off. And I think Sifakis is saying that, hey, he's got a hold of my hand here. You can't really see it there. That's what it looked like. It looked like. I'm pretty sure the other hand would not have helped. Looked like Niederhauser kind of had a hold of his hand or wrist as a defensive back 20 plus years and 50 plus pounds ago I say what a smart play <laughs> first punt of the game for Woods Cross Mountain Crest leading 3 nothing, looking for more picking it up on one bounce and heading south is Tyler Herbert and Herbert sets Mountain Crest up in prime real estate at the 22-yard line of Woods Cross. Tonga Lavulo for Woods Cross. Great closing speed. Had a bad angle. Look at him. Look at him chase him down from behind. Tyler Herbert showing some great speed, like you mentioned there. A great cutback. Changes hands with the ball. That, that's a great tackle from opposite field. No angle. Richardson, the fullback, and Putu Tao in the backfield. They're going to give to Big Mo, and he uh -oh. coughs it up. Down at the 11-yard line. So Putu Tao picks up about seven and then coughs it up. Sean Barton recovers for Woods Cross. That's actually, that's Carlson, excuse me. Joseph Carlson. Wow, that thing came out of like it was greased. Carlson, 6'3", 200 pounds, you know, big tall runner like that. That's awesome if you can get a big runner like that, but, you know, it's hard. It, it's better to run low, and it's harder for those big kids yep. to run low. A lot more hats can get on the ball. Mm -hmm. So the Woods Cross offense back out onto the field. 3-0 Mountain Crest in the early going. Now they tighten things up with that formation. Brown finds a little bit of a seam. Out across the 15 to about the 16, the four yards. They don't have heights and weights on the uh, Woods Cross roster, but um, that kid might be 5'7". On height, they have listed a few, and on weight, they have listed some. <laughs> Dollar are they? A few. How much do they weigh? Some. Um. <laughs> 